Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Folks, we got to talk here. Look, it is time for cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States to relist XRP. It's time for cryptocurrency exchanges to go on the offensive against the bully that is the SEC. And I haven't been talking like this for, well, well until now, frankly, because... There was, we were in a time of transition for most of the time that the lawsuit's going on, a huge chunk of it anyway, with uh, Jay Clayton obviously you know, heading out the exit door, former SEC chair Jay Clayton uh, heading out in December. And then you had uh, two different um, interim chair people, and, and then Gary Gensler ended up uh, getting, uh, getting the job. He got the gig. And so uh, a couple things that were going on in my mind all through that is that I thought, well, first of all, it doesn't make sense right now to poke the bear. So I can understand and respect why cryptocurrency exchanges, look, they're out looking out for their employees, which have families. Uh, you know, I, I get it. So out of an abundance of caution, you, you stop trading XRP until there's, there's clarity. You don't want to poke the bear. You don't want to relist XRP. I wish they would, but I'm sympathetic to the, to the exchanges. It's the SEC that I blame for putting them in that position. So I was like, okay, I, I get it. Fine, don't poke the bear. And then on top of that, with a new SEC chair coming in, we wanted to see, because he was alleged to have been very pro-crypto, uh, <laughs> not so much it seems. Uh, he's, he's knowledgeable in crypto, but as it pertains to securities laws and the way that he basically wants to take over the entire world, uh, no, it's not so hot right now. But that he, he was a question mark, so that was another reason I was like, okay, I understand. Why people want to, you know, cryptocurrency exchanges, the leadership there, don't want to relist XRP right now. We want either a settlement or full adjudication of this SEC versus Ripple case. But uh, no, that, that that time has passed. No, it, it's it's time to relist XRP. This doesn't make sense. And, uh, and I'm going to show you in, in this article that SEC Chair Gensler is not interested in the rule of law. I'm going to highlight. I, I, I actually printed up this article. Here, this is Dead Trees. And I highlighted the relevant portions. This is a piece from Decrypt I'm going to read through. Uh, just the select portions that I found the most interesting. But he is absolutely not interested in the rule of law. He really isn't. And, and I, it just, I read it. It's just like jaw-dropping what, what this guy said. Uh, and so what do you do when you're dealing with someone like that? Like, because because the the truth of the matter is, like if if we don't go on the offensive here, if the the cryptocurrency exchanges don't, these crypto man they could end up in a really bad spot because it may be the case, and you'll see what I'm talking about as I go through this video. It could be the case that the SEC deems just about every cryptocurrency that every exchange in the United States is selling is a security. Like it could be very very bad. And I've also got a couple comments from attorneys within the XRP community. It'd be uh, from attorney John Deaton and attorney James Filan. But uh, before going any further, I do want to be clear that I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I'm not offering legal or financial advice. And you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos all up on the internet. But just as a hobby, just for fun. And so here's a piece from Decrypt titled... SEC chair. Coinbase lists dozens of tokens that might be securities. Oh, thank you, Gary Gensler, for nothing. In we go. <clears throat> the stakes in an ongoing battle between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Coinbase got higher on Tuesday as the agency's chairman, Gary Gensler, suggested the biggest crypto exchange in the United States may be breaking the law. And I'll, I'll pause right here. I'm not going to go into great detail. I'm going to assume that most of you are aware of this at this point. But uh, Coinbase wants to launch a program that they're calling Lend, uh, which offers interest-bearing accounts for its its uh, its customers. There are all sorts of other entities around the globe, including in the United States, that offer similar products. Uh, there's been no problems in the United States uh, with any of Coinbase's would-be competitors. But uh, the SEC has stated, no Coinbase, you cannot do this. Um, offering such a thing is effectively uh, offering a fund which is a security. They're saying that they're, 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 it's not just an interest-bearing account. That's what the SEC is arguing. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a fund. Now, they haven't given all the reasons as to why, so a little bit of that speculation. But suffice it to say, the answer is no. The, the SEC has said, no, if you do this, you're selling a security, and we will sue you. They, they issued a Wells notice indicating that. Anyway, peace continues. Speaking at a hearing convened by the Senate Banking Committee, Gensler observed that Coinbase did not have a license to operate as a stock exchange, quote, 
even though they have dozens of tokens that might be security, end quote. So think about this. If Coinbase has dozens of uh, tokens that may be securities, uh, what about all the other exchanges that have even more in the United States, even more tokens? They're all in serious trouble. Because the, the, it's, the SEC, is, it's clear. They're going to do the same. They're going to they're gonna do a ripple to them. They're going to do a ripple, you know, if I can call it that. Uh, because, and I can. It's my channel. I do what I want, David. Uh, but, but they're, they're going to retroactively go back and they're saying, you should have known all along, which, which, is, which would be comical, because you can sit here and say, may have. Well, why doesn't the SEC know if, if the tokens that Coinbase is selling after how long Coinbase has been in business, uh, how, can, how do they not know which cryptocurrencies are? Our, uh, our, our securities. What? Because, he, again, he said that uh, they might be securities. Okay. <laughs> and then peace continues. Gensler's remark was notable given that it did not come in response to a direct question about securities, but instead, as an aside, while replying to a query from Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, about whether customers could be harmed when exchanges like Coinbase go down under high trading volume. And so uh, Warren, she's another one of these people that think that you don't know how to put your short shirt on in the morning. When the truth is, it's only Bitcoin maxi trolls that don't know how to get their damn shirt on in the morning by themselves. They need physical assistance to get their, uh, to get their shirts on in the morning. Or else they'd just be walking around naked and stuff. Like that, that's what they'd be doing. Um, so you, you can't have that. But she thinks that you can't get your shirt on in the morning. And, and, and you need all these protections. And, and it's, it's just what, when, when do you hear the words coming out of her mouth that uh, there, there, there's uh, that, that personal responsibility matters? Like, you, you don't ever hear that from her. You, you do not hear that. Uh, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm an, I'm an adult. And if I put my money into something and I don't sufficiently research it or if something goes wrong, like, that's a risk that I took. I just, I, I, just, I, I can't stand this crap. She, she, she went on, and, and I'm, this isn't going to be the thrust of my video, but, uh, you know, she went on to talk about how uh, th there can be with some cryptocurrency extremely high fees, and then she was painting the picture as if, you know, she I think she cited Ethereum, if memory serves, but she, she was talking about how there's just, you know, hundreds of dollars per transaction fees and stuff like this, and, and, and I'm just sitting there thinking... But that's not all of crypto, and why? If, if that's bad, and that means that that cryptocurrency shouldn't be long-term viable, why not let the free market figure that out instead of coming in and thinking that people are too stupid to make their own damn investment decisions? Because if it's going to go the way of the dodo, which is to say going extinct, then let it, okay? Because there are cryptocurrencies that, ha that have transactions that cost fractions of a penny, like XRP. So you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. It just doesn't make any damn sense. But here, they, 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 they are so far on the side of security and caution that it's taking away your, your freedom to make decisions within your life. It's too much. It's absolutely too much. But this is the direction that she's gone. And, and Gary Gensler is, is right on board with her, too. He is absolutely has the exact same mindset. It's more about security. They're, they're valuing security over freedom. That's effectively what is happening here. Uh, I, that's not how I operate. I, I value freedom more than security, to be honest with you. Um, now, Gensler's comment echo previous statements that, uh, that he made regarding the current state of the crypto market. In early August, the SEC chair said he believed, quote, many tokens currently being traded may be unregistered securities without required disclosures or market oversight, end quote. Now, a spokesperson for Coinbase said the company would decline to comment for now about Gensler's remark that it might be listing dozens of tokens that are securities. Yeah. This is why I'm saying, like, you need, if you're Coinbase, you need to go on the offensive. It's time to relist XRP and uh, just make a bunch of money off the buying and selling from your customers of the, of the trade. You, you deserve it. You're, you know, you're, you're, I mean, I, look, to be honest with you, I like Coinbase. I just don't like, they do go down. Like, it's a legit critique. They go down, but so do, a, like, pretty much a, every cryptocurrency exchange on the planet during times of high volume. There's a fr true frenzy the world over. And so that, that does need to be fixed. But other than that, I actually do like Coinbase as a platform here. And they deserve to make money off of anybody. If they would relist XRP, if people would flood back in, they, de they deserve that. I mean, I, I think it would be respectable if they actually relisted XRP right now, especially in the face of all this. That would be a bold move. 
But I'm, I'm telling you, if they don't, if they don't do something, they're going to sit here and get picked apart by the SEC, and they're not. They're just going to be like a skeleton of a company. That is not a reasonable business move. You need to have some cojones and move forward and do something. And part of that absolutely can be relisting XRP because I'm telling you what. Like, it's not just XRP that they're going to say is a security. You're going to have to just take everything off your damn platform and not make money. That's what's going to happen to your Coinbase. Stand up. Uh, the piece continues. The issue of which digital assets or our securities under U.S. federal law, a designation that creates a series of obligations that include registering with the SEC, has long been a source of confusion and frustration for the crypto industry. While the SEC has issued statements that suggest it does not consider Bitcoin and Ethereum to be securities, many other tokens fall in a gray area. <laughs> well, according to the SEC, everything's in a gray area, right? Because they haven't official uh, they they haven't uh, put out official decree about any cryptocurrency, not even Bitcoin, not even Bitcoin. Anyway, the SEC has yet to create a process to quickly identify a token's legal status. Now, check this out. This is where it gets really interesting. I'm about to get to the part where Gary Gensler uh, just effectively communicates to anybody listening that he does not care about the rule of law. He, he just doesn't. Check this out. Senator Pat Toomey, a uh, Republican Pennsylvania, appeared to channel the, crypt the, uh, the crypto industry's frustration during the hearing, telling Gensler, quote, I'm concerned the SEC hasn't provided a sufficient definition as to how it would apply the Howey test, end quote. A reference to a Supreme Court case that set out four criteria to identify if an investment was a security. Almost there, check, just stay with me. Uh, Toomey also pressed Gensler over how stablecoins could be considered a security, since one prong of the Howey test requires there to be a, quote, likely expectation of profit, end quote. Something that stablecoins do not provide. In response, Gensler demurred and noted that Congress had given the SEC broad scope to define securities. Did you hear what he said in response to that question, folks? Did you hear that? He, if, he, was, he, he effectively said, uh, I'm throwing out the rule of law. Uh, what we have, the, the Howey, he's throwing out the Howey test. He said that uh, the way that we've been determining what is and is not a security for almost a century, I'm throwing that out. I have broad discretion to make up rules on the fly, whatever the hell I want to do, and whatever you think, you can suck it. That's effectively what Gary Gensler is communicating to all of us, right? He, he doesn't care about the rule of law. He doesn't care about the legal precedent. He's going to rule the SEC as though he's a dictator. That is absolutely what he's doing. There is no likely expectation of profit when you invest in a, uh, or when you buy, I wouldn't even call it investing, when you when you own a stable coin. There is no expectation of profit, which is a requirement via the Howey test to determine whether or not something is a security. He doesn't care. He doesn't like it. And so he's just going to be a dictator and he's just going to crush it all. That's, that's his plan. Right there. He just doesn't give a damn. Do you see who we're working with here? And so what the, the what Coinbase is supposed to just sit on the sideline and uh, keep 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 XRP halted and, uh, and and then wait for the SEC to come after him uh, with the, the rest of their artillery and and, and just get obliterated into you know, once the SEC <laughs> it's going to happen. SEC will come back and they'll say, uh, here's your lawsuit. Enjoy. And by the way, you should probably take off every coin that you you're offering on Coinbase, basically, or just about all of them. That's what's coming here. This guy doesn't give a damn. My God, the, the flagrant disregard for law and precedent is stunning. Stunning. The, the, the stable coins do not satisfy the Howey test, which is to say they're not securities. They can't be. They cannot be. It, it could not be more clear. Dare I say that might even be more clear than uh, what's happening with uh, the SEC versus Ripple case. And that's pretty freaking damn clear. There is no common enterprise. But when you're talking about expectation of profit there's no profit <laughs> there is no profit and there's no expectation of profit oh my gosh he's doing whatever the hell he wants this cannot be allowed this is this cannot be allowed i don't even know what else to say about this it's just it's stunning and i just i don't know how enough people i don't know if enough people have caught on the fact like i feel like a lot of people even if it went in their ear hole that they just kind of glossed over it i'm like no guys this is this is dictator gary like, do, do you see this? He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the rule of law. 
He said that to the SEC, the Congress had given the SEC broad scope to define securities. Okay, throw out all the law and precedent for, for a century. Okay, just throw it on it. Okay, thanks for nothing, Gary. And then the piece uh, also states, if the SEC concludes that dozens of Coinbase's offerings are indeed securities, the company would likely have to delist them and could face a series of fines and investigations. Such a development would amount to a devastating blow for the broader, broader crypto industry, since Coinbase is arguably regarded as the most mainstream crypto firm and has long billed itself as eager to operate within the law. Yeah, that's true. And I, I think that is true. I think they've uh, gone the most out of their way to uh, to make sure that they're within the rule of law. That seemed, that seemed very clear. And that still isn't enough because there isn't sufficient regulatory clarity uh, fr from the SEC. So uh, Coinbase isn't in the wrong as far as I'm concerned here. But they've got to do something about it. They've got to go on the offensive, and they should relist XRP. There should be a call. I, know, I mean, there is a call. We've all been talking about it, but now I'm extra joint. Like, look, I've always wanted Coinbase to, re, to relist, but now it's at a point where now that we see how Gary's behaving and the fact that he's being dictator Gary and doing whatever the hell he wants, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to be more vocal about this. Yeah, he, he be, go on the offensive. Yes, the answer is yes. Go on the offensive. The time for wait and see how Gary responds is over. We know what he's doing now. And then the piece also states, Ginzer told Warren that the commission needed more resources to police the industry. Check this out. Here's a quote. There are 6,000 projects, and while some are commodities, many are securities under the law, he said. Right now, there are many individuals in this country who have been hurt. There will be more harm since this crypto area is trying to stay outside the investor protection perimeter. Oh my freaking God, Gary, that is not true. You're the ones that aren't providing clarity. We in the space, uh, especially cryptocurrency exchanges and developers building on top of blockchains, they're the ones that are outside of the investor protection per perimeter? Uh, no, there is no sufficient clarity for you. You're the problem. My gosh, this is disgusting, the arrogance of this man. Do you think he even believes what, does he actually believe this? Like, is he in actual denial? What is wrong with this man? I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. He's the problem. All right. Let me sit down now. He, I'll tell you what. He has officially burnt all of my biscuits. I had a bunch of biscuits. They're all burnt. They're completely ruined. No more delicious biscuits. Damn it. Take a look at this. Here's a tweet from attorney John Deaton. He's the attorney seeking to intervene in the SEC versus Ripple case. On behalf of roughly 19,000 XRP holders. He says, after watching the staged theater performance between Elizabeth Warren and Gary Ginzer, there is no doubt that Coinbase will be sued regardless of whether it offers Lind. Don't be shocked if the SEC sues Coinbase for selling securities without identifying which ones are securities. <laughs> That's a virtual certainty at this point. John Deaton's absolutely nailing it. And so I retweeted that and wrote the following. I say Coinbase and other U.S. Uh, exchanges should relist XRP. Seems inevitable they'll be sued for selling multiple unregistered securities regardless. Coinbase, don't wait for smaller entities to be sued first, which may set bad precedent you'll be subject to. Go on the offensive. And that's a primary concern here. It, it, and that's part of the SEC strategy, I think. Go after the weaklings and then get precedent set that would affect the larger companies that, if had they gone after them first, uh, would have been detrimental to the SEC's case. That's absolutely what I think is going on. Uh, here's a tweet from attorney James Filan, member of the XRP community. I wonder how long Senator Warren and Gary Gensler rehearsed their discussion. There is no credibility there at all. I am completely on the same page that there is no credibility whatsoever. It is dictator Gary living in fantasy land, pretending that there's sufficient clarity and that it's everybody else acting outside the rule of law when there's just, there is no fair notice. I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.